all uh, welcome back to my channel today we shall discuss on uh, saturation block using a min max so uh, we'll design a simple library for the saturation using min max and also we'll discuss on uh, uh, promoting parameters in it yeah so i have taken a, a blank library so we'll take an input yes and uh, we need a min and max block main block okay uh, we'll take a limit uh, constant block okay and uh, we'll set the value to yeah to upper limit so upper limit yes apply okay and also we'll take a max block and okay why okay and uh, we'll just replicate okay we'll yeah inputs will set it to two inputs because we need a yeah lower limit as well so we'll keep a lower limit yes and these two parameters uh, will uh, will promote these two parameters uh, yeah will give a, a user uh, to set uh, these values actually yeah okay we'll connect both the inputs and uh, we'll set the limit here as well upper low upper limit as well as uh, lower limit and uh, yeah so here uh, we'll have we'll use a switch block for the condition so for the condition check okay yes uh, same block we'll just replicate sorry mm, control c yes so uh yes if the uh, yeah this is the minimum uh, min value and uh, if ever it is greater than uh, zero we'll pass the same value and uh, if ever it is uh, not greater than zero then uh, we'll take the constant value zero yeah constant yes we'll set it to zero apply okay and we'll just connect this similarly for the max uh, yes if the value is uh, greater than zero then yeah we need to send zero so we'll connect uh, this directly we already have the constant zero here and uh, yeah if ever it is uh, not greater than zero we'll pass the value okay so this was regarding the min and max then we'll have a yeah add block here so yes we'll just connect these two and uh, we'll have a output out yes yes so we'll convert this into a subsystem we'll select everything and here we'll create a subsystem out of it and uh, yes now the library is created we don't need this we'll just delete this yeah you can just see inside so you have the input and everything is ready here for the min max logic as well as adding so yes so we'll uh, yeah promote the parameters now like because uh, we have this u limit upper limit and uh, lower limit value that needs to be promoted so we'll just uh, we'll just uh, promote uh, these two parameters so just to go to create mask and go to parameters and dialog so here in the parameters you have something called promote parameters so just click on that and uh, yes you need to select the the parameter uh, which you need to promote so just click on this yeah here you need to click uh, types uh, type uh, type option so just click here and here if you go uh, constant and constant one are the two values that we want to promote actually i did not rename it so let's rename better uh, for easy understanding we'll just uh, i think here right yes it, this is upper limit so we'll just rename this to u limit and here as well we'll just rename this to l underscore limit l underscore limit so save this and uh, sorry uh, yeah yes we need to save this so we'll just save this again so we'll go here 
so new library save this and yes go back right click mask uh, create mask and here in this as i already told just click on this promote and go to type options and if you see here now you get a lower uh, limit and take a constant value and you just click here and add it to relate to block path and uh, just give ok as well as similarly you want this uh, upper limit as well right so just select that as well constant value and uh, select uh, apply and ok yes so mm -hmm. only one is added sorry i think yeah at a time you can select only one sorry so yes uh, this needs to be uh, yeah again uh, you do one thing you just click on promote uh, parameter again and you just go not sure i think it will uh, okay lower limit we need to add again now so let's select i think it's already selected so just do one thing we'll, i'll just delete both of them and i'll add it again so yeah okay uh, it is deleted so we'll just go to promote parameters so limit uh, lower limit yeah just add it here and okay so similarly for this you just need to click again and you need to go to type options here and select upper limit and the constant value uh, move this to relative you and give ok <clears throat> yes so with this just apply here and you need to provide the value again here so yes so we'll um, yeah set the value to upper I think it's lower. Yes, and uh, lower upper limit. Yeah, so that was about it. So yeah, value again. You can provide the value directly. Anyways, yes, you can set it to zero as well. Apply and okay so now uh, we have the subsystem created and also values been promoted so if you double click you will have the option uh, like you can uh, provide the values like for the lower limit and upper limit the value can be provided so we'll just uh, take a sine wave and we'll uh, create a simple model out of this save this and uh, go to blank model and uh, just drag and drop this block here okay so yes so just drag and drop this library block here to the model and take a sine wave uh, yes mm, yes and set the amplitude to 6 and uh, connect this and also take a scope to visualize the output so yes connect this and also set the saturation values lower limit and upper limit to say uh, 4 and uh, minus 4 minus Four, apply and okay so if you just run this now uh, sorry uh, I think I have given uh, reverse so it should be minus 4 and uh, 4 sorry apply and okay so if you run this you can see how it is so it is saturated so the actual value is still 6 so but now till 4 it's saturated so this was regarding uh, yeah this was regarding the uh, saturation block and uh, promoting the parameters promoting the parameters like if you just double click you can just provide the values here this is how you just promoted the pr two parameters and also the saturation logic is implemented here so this was uh, it and uh, thanks for watching the video if you like this video please give this a thumbs up yeah thank you